Hello everybody again and welcome back to the ROS Projects video. In this case I'm talking about the LSD SLAM. I'm trying to perform LSD SLAM with a drone. And yeah, let's continue. So if you remember from the last video, from the last session, we were trying to, to run uh, the LSD packages in in a parrot in a parrot air drone, and we found this error. Let's see if I can find it somewhere here. Come on. Okay, yeah, here it comes. Let's see. Here we have it. Yeah. So we had this error with the memory corruption. Yeah. And I tried both methods. So installing LSD SLAM by the Rosbuild method and using the CatKin method, uh, I was able to successfully compile both. But in both cases, I had this memory corruption error. Then I have been investigating and, and I, I really don't know why this is happening. I wasn't able to solve it, I don't know. Uh, maybe with more time I could solve it, but I wasn't able to solve it. Then um, I was trying many things and one of the things I tried uh, at last, at the end, was okay, let's try this with another simulation. Just, I don't know. I really don't know why I decided to do this, but I, I, I said, okay, let's let's see what happens if I try it, try this with another simulation with another drone, and then I, I decided to try these LSD slam packages in in an Ector simulation, which I have it here. Let's launch it. Let's open the project. <clears throat> and I don't know if any of you have any idea of what could be causing this error, this memory corruption error here, I, I, I really don't know. I, I, I didn't find any uh, good uh, answer or something explaining why, why this could happen, so I wasn't able to, to solve it. Uh, but well, yeah. Let's have a look at what happens if we, if we try this LSD slam packages into another drone simulation, into the Hector simulation in this case. So yeah, let's open here an IDE, let's open also a shell. There we are. Okay. So yeah, as you can see here I have in the simulation workbase, I have the Hector quad rotor simulation installed. So, so yeah, let's let's try to reproduce the the process again. Um, I'm going very quickly this time. So, okay, yeah, let's come here to the steps. It's uh, right here. Okay. So we create the directory. I have to go there. Okay. I'll give you package. We create the package dir directory. Set the workspace. All of this it's uh, already done in previous videos, so I'm going to escape all this part and how I solve it, the errors, where all of these uh, that were causing this to not compile. So, okay. Let's see, yeah.
Okay, we don't load the repo, and then it's a ROS make LSD slam. Okay. So let's compile this. Oh yeah, here we have some errors. Ah, okay. So let's do a ROS dep update. <clears throat> And there, yeah, there it is. So let's compile now again. And it will take some time, so I'm going to cut the video here and I will I will continue when the compilation has ended, okay? Because this will take some minutes. So yeah, see see you right now. Okay, so there we are. It has finally compiled. So Okay, let's let's try it. So first of all, let's launch our simulation. Uh, let's come here and select the launch file I want. In this case, it's in the Hector Quadrator Gazebo, and I think it's the camera launch. Let me try it. Okay. Let's see if it's this launch. Obviously, there are many launches for this simulation, but I need one that launches the Hector Quadrator with the with the camera, with the RGB camera. Okay, yeah, I think it's this one. Mm. Let me check the topics. One second here. Rust topic list. Let's see if it has the camera topics. Yeah, it's this one. Okay, so so let's try this one. And let me remember what was the comment to test this. Okay, it's this one here. There we are. So let's come here and the camera info topic, which is let's see. This one here. And the stream topic. Which is, I think it was image, but let me verify it. In the front camera image, yeah, it's the image. Okay, so this was this is basically the command to start uh, the LSD slam. So let's try it and see what happens now. And voila. It doesn't crash. <laughs> Amazing, right? I, I really don't know. I haven't discovered yet why in this case, in, for this simulation, it doesn't, cra it doesn't crash. While for the Parrot, our drone, it crashes. It's still a mystery for me. But, well, now you can, you can come here to the graphical tools and you will see that an LSD slam window has appeared. Let's move this to a new one. I think it will be better. We'll be able to see it better. Okay, let's log in. Let's close this one. Yeah, and here you have the the debug window. Yeah, where basically it, it, it shows you the the image of the camera and it marks here some uh, some keyframes where it detects changes in intensity of the images, well, where it's performing basically the LSD slam, and then you also have, you also have the LSD, LSD slam viewer, which I, okay, this one, yeah, it's this command here, we can execute it as well, 
let's launch it in another shell okay there we are and this it will appear here there we have it the point cloud viewer now Now here, as you can see, you have a problem, which is that it is detecting the the drone wing, let's say, yeah. So the camera, it's capturing here into the into its image the the drone uh, the drone wing. So this obviously will affect in a wrong way into LSD slam, yeah. So I can try now to begin moving the drone around and creating a map which will appear here yeah, if you remember let's open here the link just one second yeah yep there we are so See if you can see here. Yeah, well, basically, you have the window where here. This is the window where uh, where the camera. Uh, we, we get the camera feed, which is this one here. Yeah, where it marks in these uh, colors the different K frames, as you can see also here, and then it builds a kind of depth map, which is this one here in gray. Yeah, and this is shown here. But obviously, uh, yeah, we cannot have the camera detecting our own drone because this obviously will introduce a lot of errors into the final uh, slam. So somehow I need to fix this. Maybe, I don't know, maybe moving the camera some point where it doesn't detect the, 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 the wing of the drone. I could also try to figure out why in this case it's working and in Parrot uh, Air Drone it doesn't work and try to do it with the camera of the Parrot uh, Drone solving whatever issue is causing that memory corruption error and yeah but I need to figure out some way of doing a work workaround to this because obviously like I cannot do a slime like like this. I need to first solve this. So that will that will be work for the next video. I will try to figure out what to do, and I will show you what's my decision in the next video. And well, as always, if you have any suggestions, please leave it in the comments. Feel free to to interact with me. If you want me to try something, if you know what could be the the error causing the memory cor corruption error. Uh, whatever you can send me feedback in the comments of this video and well yeah i'm sorry i couldn't do much in this video but i'm at, at one point where i'm having a little bit of uh, trouble in any direction i'm trying to go so yeah let's hope that for the next video we can already perform lsd slam and we can begin creating a we can create a, a small map or or something so yeah. yeah as always if you have liked the video please leave a like subscribe to our to our channel we keep publishing videos like this one every day so yeah thank you everyone and see you in the next video goodbye